They're in the stretch of the Meadowlands pace. Dorso, Duro, Hanover, game first over. Courtly Choice off that cover has opened road. Stay hungry, full out on the outside in deep stretch. Courtly Choice inches clear. It's Courtly Choice and the Buckeye Hall of Famer Dave Miller does it. Courtly Choice. Well, when I was a kid, my dad uh, had horses as a, as a side part. We kept them at Dana Lloyd's place. So after school, I'd go out and help out and do everything. And I was in university and I dropped out at Christmas and needed something to do. And uh, I said to Dad, I'm going to go down to Windsor and uh, and uh, race some horses, take some down. And he said, OK. He thought I'd be done in three months, be home and be back in school and go into insurance and do it with him. Well. 20 some years later I'm I'm here sitting and you know we we've, we've done well and we you know I'm glad I did what I did. Uh, you couldn't have asked for a better place, you know, we had stabling right on the track and that's where I met Mark, you know, Mark and I have been Mark McDonald and I have been best friends for 20 some years and uh, you know we had a lot of good times, a lot of fun and you know there's a lot of good guys down there. You know, we started getting to younger horses and uh, getting into the, the babies really helped. Uh, we sort of found our niche that way. Um, claimers weren't in my game. You know, I didn't do as good with the claimers as I've done with the babies. You know, and you, you start getting on a roll with the, you know, a couple cheap ones here and there. And, you know, we paid 1,500, about three or four of them. And they went on to make three, 400,000. One made, one was bullet point. She was our first big one. You know, we paid 1,500 for her and she made close to 700,000. And, from there, it just, you know, mushroomed into more and more and, and uh, better and better. So we've got about a total of 75 horses in training. Uh, we've got uh, 55 here, around 55, 56 here, and close to 20 in the States. Uh, Jessica Dos is my head trainer down there. Francis Dumachon is my head trainer up here. Uh, when I'm on the road, at either stable, those two are in charge. and. Uh, you know, we've got mostly all the babies up here at this time of the year, so there's 43 babies this year, and uh, they're all up here with me. Jess has most of the racehorses down there uh, for the winter time, so that we're not, you know, I can concentrate on the babies up here, and then I'll go down there every two to three weeks during the winter time to check on the racehorses and see how they are and, and train the three-year-olds that we have down there coming back. Uh, you know, it's, it's a big operation, and it's a... A lot of long days and a lot of frustrating days, but you know, when stake season comes around, it, it seems to be all worth it right now. It's level up, Courtly Choice, Dorsonuno, Hanover with a rush, three of them across the track. Who's it going to be? It's Courtly Choice. I think as a two year old, we thought he could be a really nice horse. Um, first time qualify, I mean, he qualified great. Um, and uh, training down, he was always a little lazy. Um, Mike Pennington trained most of the time for me because Mike gets a little more out of the lazy ones than me. Um, he, he was a big, big, uh, Mike was a big reason that horse made as much as he did. Um, I'll give credit to, to the guys that work for me, the ones that take care of them. Uh, it was, uh, you know, once we got behind the gate, he, he bravened up a little more. And then, you know, as a two-year-old, he was sort of fumbly gated and, and wasn't as good gated as he was as a three-year-old. And uh, he really improved a lot from two to three, but we could see that training back. Uh, he had set the track record as a two-year-old and won some minor stakes, but uh, we had um, paid him in all the major stakes as a three-year-old because of his breeding, because he was Cheddar's brother and, and Ashley's big guy's brother, and, and uh, we never gave up on him in that way. Um, but as a three-year-old training back, he was just a totally different horse. You could just see like, he had lost the laziness and he'd wanted he wanted to do it more. Um, I remember James coming out and training him one day, and he told everybody in the driver's room that Blake's got a three-year-old coming back, training great. And everybody's like, ah, you know, he'll just, when he gets to the races, he'll just be the same lazy horse, but he wasn't. And he just started, you know, he turned into be a, you know, just a dream horse for me, and something that I'll probably never achieve again, but, you know, very happy with him. Uh, going into it, we drew the rail. I remember just thinking, oh my God, this, you know, we could win the jug. And then about 15 seconds into the elimination, I was just sick. You know, most people know I have a temper. Everybody probably thought I was throwing myself, but I wasn't. I just, I was just like, are you kidding me? 
And uh, I seen Dave get him back on stride. And uh, then when he caught the field, I was like, well, you know, we could make the we could make the final here, and we could be fourth, you know. And Jess and I were standing beside each other, and so you know, we we could be fourth, you know. And then you're sitting there, and he's moving up and moving up, and then all of a sudden it was a photo, you know, coming to the wire of the elimination. You're like, holy Christ, we could have won that. And then there was the inquiry, and you know all the things that happened, we didn't know where we'd finish and everybody told us that we were going to be placed first and we were placed second in the elimination which was probably better because we didn't get the rail again which you know he could make a break off the rail again and we have been lost and then you know in the final there it was just I just you were just sitting there and you're just watching down the back side <clears throat> you know I'm, sti I'm standing down the at the gate there down the back side and I see him drifting out like three wide and it was Jason McGinnis and Kirby McGinnis beside me, and I was like, ah, oh, we're, we're done, you know, you're done. And then all of a sudden, he just kept going, and you're like, oh my God, we could win, we could win. And you're just screaming, you know, like you're, like I, I'm an emotional person. I scream, and I was yelling and screaming and swearing. And then he got up, you know, and you're just like, you hear Roger Houston say, and Courtly Choice is up, and you're like, oh my God, you know, it was just, Biggest day of my life, you know, like we'd won the pace earlier in the year, like don't get me wrong, like pace was unbelievable, and that was a big high. But to win the jug, you're just sort of like, oh my God, we, we just won a little brown jug. And uh, it's just, everybody being there was just so much fun, you know, it's just great. The, uh, the four-year-old campaign, we weren't going, we were going to stud last year. Uh, when we got him to stud, his numbers were, were, weren't very good uh, for breeding uh, purposes. So he was originally, so we needed to geld him. Not geld him, but uh, remove the one ball so it was up in, the one testicle was up inside him. Uh, we decided to bring him back for next year and race him. So we raced him. Um, started out the year great. Um, win the first um, graduate and was dominant. Dave said he's best he's ever been. He qualified great. We ship him back up here for the Confed Cup and he doesn't make the final. Probably one of the biggest disappointments of my career. The Flamble Downs is right there. I grew up watching that race. I want to win that race. More than anything I've ever wanted to race, win race, like other than North American Cup. I know it sounds stupid, but it's a local race. It's a race that I grew up watching. I want to win that race. And he didn't make the final. I remember driving out, and me and and I were watching the 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 feed on my phone, and we lost out on the draw. We tried to figure out what was wrong with him. He didn't race well for a couple of weeks. You know, we sent him back down the states, and he still wasn't himself. He was just sort of mediocre. And we came back up here for the for the pace and uh, we raced him twice in the, the open and he, he raced huge, uh, two, two weeks in a row. You know, we just gave him a little time, gave him a little breather and, you know, he won the open two weeks in a row and he was just, just a different horse. And uh, going to the pace, I thought, you know, we could, we have a good shot. And then down the backside, James had him out of position and I'm like, what are you doing? I was just, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, we're not gonna get a check. Off the lane, he, he flipped him off cover and he was gone. I was just, to win a big race at home is just special, especially with like one of my good friends, James McDonald. You know, I don't know, Dave's a great friend too. But, you know, I give James a big, you know, that was probably one of his career highlights too. And for us both to win it, and, and uh, after Dave picked off for McWicket, it was just, just so, it was a relief, you know, like we could breathe because we expected this horse to be a top horse this year. And then after that, it was more disappointing for the year. It was an up and down season, but uh, he'll throw in a good one here and there. And it was just a year, weird year for him. Um, he's a great horse. He always came up big in the big races, it seemed like. Um, he, he just, you know, he had some health issues last year and we couldn't get him straightened out the whole year. You know, we'd get his blood one way, right, the one week, and then he'd drop back down. And it was just, um, just a fight all year with him, with his blood. Uh, you know, now, now he's at stud. 
His numbers are really good after we remove the we remove the testicle. Um, he's he's breeding this year, and he's got you know a book around 80 mares, and you know hopefully we'll keep going forward, and, and he'll become a, a good sire.